the tenth argument used against the existence of God in the series of 50 arguments uh, presented on an atheist website, uh, God is Imaginary, uh, is entitled Watch the Offering Plate. And the argument is really just an extension of an earlier argument that keeps reappearing in these arguments already, and that is uh, that uh, the Bible teaches that God answers prayer, and the uh, reality is that God doesn't answer prayer, and an evidence of that is that churches keep asking for money and passing the offering plate. If God answered prayer, then uh, we should see that we just ask God for money, and, and God will give us that money. Instead, the church has to beg people for money. Um, and, of course, the, the response that I would give to this is very simply the same that I gave before on the issue of prayer, and that is that God uh, works through secondary causes. Uh, you know, for a Christian, we see things that are needed in the world, and our very realization that there is a need is, in fact, the way God moves us. In other words, I think the atheist here is focusing so much on the external, uh, like God must do something from the outside, uh, when in fact we believe that God works from within the world. Uh, so when I see a need, like for example, the church has fi need of financial resources, when I see a need for that, that is a way that God is speaking to me. And so when I respond to that and, and give uh, to the church to support ministries or charities or whatever, that in fact is the work of God. God works through the love of his people internally within, within us. That's not to say, of course, that God can't uh, miraculously work in some other way. Uh, but the normative way or the normal way in which God works is through the people of God. Uh, who respond to the needs of the of the community and the need of of the church? Again, I, I just want to reinforce or insist on this uh, uh, distorted notion of uh, the the biblical portrayal of prayer. Uh, if you take all the data that the Bible has to say about prayer, you would end up with an extremely different vision of things than what we find in this particular article and in several articles already. Uh, where God is presented as, as uh, like a cosmic Santa Claus, always uh, supposedly promising to respond to every silly request that we make. This is very, very foreign to the Bible. You can't study the Bible seriously and come away uh, from it with the idea that God is, is a heavenly uh, manipulated being that, that does what we want. Instead, what you discover in the Bible from the very beginning is that God has enormous power and that God is enormously wise and that God has a, has a plan that envelops all of time from beginning to end. And my life is one piece of this magnificent tapestry that God is weaving together. And therefore, to think of it in terms of God just reacting to my needs is so petty and so small. Uh, to think of God just reacting to every little thing that we request of God, however silly it may be, and that that's what the Bible means when it talks about these things. I think this is just a, a, a serious perversion of scripture, uh, in, uh, in some ways even uh, silly that it even needs to be uh, addressed or responded to, because the more you read the Bible and study the Bible, you discover uh, that this is simply foreign to scripture. Of course, a person is free to say, I don't believe that, what the Bible says, uh, but that's a very different position than to say the Bible teaches this, and therefore, when the church passes an offering plate, uh, then the church is uh, uh, contradicting what its own scriptures teach. Uh, the Bible frequently teaches things like it's better to give than to receive, or give and it shall be given unto you. Uh, the Bible throughout prescribes the uh, importance of the people of God supporting God's work in this world, and that God works within us uh, to accomplish that. Uh, so I just see the question as based on a fundamental misunderstanding of the way that God works in the world, and also the teachings of Scripture.